Oh, welcome back guys. Uh, Top to see with another nostalgic look at Alundra 2. And I just noticed for the first time that Flint actually goes to sleep on the world map if you let him idle long enough. I don't think I ever did that as a kid. Ha! Huh. So I learned something new. And then he pops up. So last time we went to Dead Isaacs, the dart throwing minigame, only to discover, no, that is not the place of happiness. So we got to go back to Howling Cave because there was that other area in there that we could not quite get to yet. So we're back here. Oops, that's not the jump button. And we'll just uh, see what happens. So we get ourselves another cutscene. With the jokey music. Oh, Flint! Yeah, I came right through here. He kept screaming about this happy house. You, you stole it from me. You stole the house of happiness. I have no idea what accent I'm trying to do for him. What are you talking about? You're psychotic. What house of happiness? Don't play dumb with me. Here, take this. He just yeets some boulders at us. Stop it, are you crazy? You and your wife really like throwing things, don't you? Shut up, I'm not listening to you anymore. Get a hold of yourself, Pierre. Bah, when I find the house of happiness, I won't let either of you inside. Nah. Luca, go home to your mother. I promise you we'll bring your father back. Okay. And she just goes home. And now we have a... Uh... Oh, we've got things that we can stack up. So we have a path up, so I guess it's a uh, stacking of objects. Now you're going to be obnoxious, aren't you? Oh, really? You, you were just like a pixel off. Okay, fine. Okay, now you're just crawling me, you little boulders. So, let's see. Alright, well, I guess that one's up against the wall. That's better. So I just stack it up on that. And since we, what we do, we just stack our boulders up against the wall into staircases. Oh, that one was very obliging. Alright. And this mechanic will definitely be used later on in more stacking things. Alright. We've gone through the other exit of, exit of the Howling Cave. So now we have Dunweb. This was the dungeon that for the longest time as a kid we got stuck on. This is a cursed dungeon for us. Dunweb. I don't even remember what we got. I think we just couldn't work out where to go in one section. This must be the house of happiness that Pierre was talking about. Doesn't look very happy to me. Anyway, let's look around. Yeah, it's got um, very industrial prison vibes. Don't know what's in there, but I bet it's going to be good. Hey, what do you think you're doing? There's a line, you know? Fine, I guess we can't cut in line. <laughs> as soon as my turn comes round, all my troubles will be over. Alright, oops, what do you got to say? I heard about this place in Yagen Harbor. I thought I could find some work here. So, clearly this uh, place is preying on absolutely desperate people, i.e. our gambling guy. Although, what are you here, little missy? Well, I want the key to make me smarter. Okay. Oh, my body's in such bad condition. Do you think a key could fix that too? Hmm, they're talking about keys and they're on the floor there's patterns that were very similar to that Mephisto dude's magic. I heard these keys make you so handsome that the ladies practically drool all over you. 
So everyone's being fed a whole bunch of lies according to whatever happens to be their uh, weakness. Ooh, tonic nice. Be it money, be it jobs, be it beauty, health, brains in school. So yes, they're very definitely playing on the... Uh, Alright, so let's see what have we got around here. Door. What's up here though? Another door. Okay, oh, and treasure. Which we can't have many more herbs, so into the back into the chest it goes. It is nice that um, if you do pick up excess items, uh, they aren't just wasted. They just go back into the chest. Alright, so we've got a branching pathway, and honestly, I don't know which pathway is the right way. We've got a bunch of uh, moving conveyor belts. More herbs. Uh, so we gotta jump around over the conveyors. It's pretty easy in here. Nice puzzle piece. I know it's out of damage. I do not remember taking damage. Oh wait, that must have been back in the cave with the fire. Tonic. Okay, so that's all this room has to offer currently. There's an exit here. Let's see where this takes us. Thump. Out the random shoot and there's cannonballs to dodge and spideys clockwork spiders well this place is called Dun web so I guess they're going on the oh you little shit they're going on the uh, spider thing for their enemies okay so is there anything I could have sworn that there is a treasure chest somewhere in this area. All the spideys. Mm, guess I'm misremembering. Ouch. Ouch. So they're shooting web at you. They will uh, shoot web and then yeet themselves onto you. And, and that's where the sunburst attack is actually super useful. Because you can, they will stick to your head and kind of like munch on Flint's head, um, and you can't actually do anything, but you can sunburst them. All right. Okay, that door won't budge, so we can't go that away. So clearly, we got to go this away. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, cutscene. So this must be the right way then. Gotta love those long load times. What's going on here? Nobody said anything about this. Hey, there's Pierre's accent. Interesting uh, choice. Interesting choice of robes for the head cultist.
And now Pierre is a key zombie. And Alexia is, is uh, kidnapped, I guess. I guess we're gonna go rescue her. So the mysterious uh, rogue dudes. Servants destroy the interloper. Oh, red alarm, and we've got a bunch of uh, enemies. Hmm, okie dokie. Alright, I'm pretty sure all the doors are locked. Doors are locked. So, you gotta get you into camera. You down, nice. Oh, these guys drop bone darts. I remember I did try farming them for bone darts at one point. When I was trying to get uh, max equipment. Nice. Alright, so the robots do smoke when they are on critical HP, which is a nice indicator of their HP. And that queen, of course, disappears. Alright, so we had the door up here opened, right? Let's see what we've got in store for us. We had conveyor belts earlier on, so I wonder if they're going to make another uh, appearance. Alright, so there's some, um, okay, bottom, and falling thingies. There's a few buttons, another button I saw, so I guess it's, uh, ouch. Go attack the bottoms. Herb. No, I'll collect that one up. I did take a bit of damage. Through uh, carelessness. Alright, there's a uh, sucky thing. Oh, if that's. Uh... Yep, and we want to skate this thing. And hit this one. So we've got more buttons. Oh, more herbs. I guess I assume you're going to take a bit more damage than what I have. So I guess I am not doing too badly. Alright, more sucky thing. So, let's see what happens when we go get sucked up by this. Nope. So we get spat out. Oh! There! Okay. I was not expecting to be spat out there. Given that that was a completely... whoops different areas uh, entrance earlier well that's fine now I know do not go into the sucky things because it'll uh, put you back out here all right so back out here back through there uh, enemies might not respawn enemies do not respawn here and that's nice why did I go down when the doorway is up here now this was definitely not the area that we got stuck in I don't think Okay. Okay, avoid the sucky things. Sucky things are bad. Vacuum teleporters, I guess. Alright, so we've got a time. This a, are they? Okay, good. The buttons to the main pressed. Okay. Relatively easy to dodge the uh, spinning blades of death. Oh, well. We've got spiky floors. How? You could at least... Okay, you do actually have mark it on the floor. I just couldn't see for the, uh, thing. Alright. That's all the buttons pressed. Door opens. Nice. And spiky still spike. Nothing else of that away. So, onwards over onwards. Oh, what do we got here? Heh <laughs> I know you're up there, boy. If you want the princess, come down and get her. <laughs> Hurry, princess. You'll be coming with me. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you, boy. Ah, yes. This was where we got stuck. Trying to get open. So obviously if we can't open this, we've got to do something to this green glowy crystal of whatever. So that's where we got stuck. We could not find the area that we were supposed to go to. 
Okay, so we got back here. That's that. Um, what was out here? So that's where Pierre got his key. Oh ho! Black treasure. Hmm. And one that they cam specifically panned the camera to. Aha! All right, these are bomb dudes. Let's lure you over over here, over here, over here. Good boy. Bad idea. Yep, okay, Gigi. Good. Cool, you did. Cool. And now I have... Ba -da 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 -da. A pixie ring. Allows you to float in mid-air and shoot elemental green traps and element shot when something will happen. Okay. Yada. Okay. Well, I've got to go put that... Mm, oh, actually, pocket that. I've got eight of those already. Wow. Uh, pixie ring, pocket that. So you got to actually have it in the pocket and notice it tints your um, items. Uh, uh, item overlay. So that's how you tell what element you have. Uh, you can only have one element equipped at one at a time. Okay, dude, you've got a lot of bombs and you explode when you die. You also have a lot of HP. Blip. Alright, so now we've got our elemental ring. For whatever reason, as a kid, we just did not go into this room to pick up our elemental ring. Do not know why. But uh, And we have this. Which means we can go down here. So there should be a uh, save point down here somewhere. So then we'll get the mine shaft. Another reason that this uh, dungeon is cursed is that when we're entering, exiting one of the load zones here, back when we were playing on a crappy old uh, CRT TV, uh, which was dying at the time, uh, the colour on the TV input just died. So everything became uh, black and white. Oh, poo poo, you can still hit me when you're frozen. So this dungeon is double cursed. For finally being the point where our TV just died with its colour. So we played this game a lot of a good chunk of this game in black and white. Because uh it took a little bit for us to get a new TV. Alright, that's all that one. So, we've still got a bit of time. We can make some progress in this dungeon. We've got the obligatory Minecraft minecart. Oh yes, minecart sequence at some point. <laughs> nice of you to walk into my trap. I hope you like it here. It's where you'll spend the rest of eternity. And another locked off area. And oh, come on! These are okay. These things are the most cursed things. They're I don't know what they're just weird puppet things. So okay, for whatever reason, it did not want to. I was trying to do the sunburst, and it wasn't wanting to sunburst. Uh, I guess I was not holding the button well enough. Maybe I was tapping and then holding. And it was, um, not liking that. Alright, mine shaft. So we killed those, but yes, those uh, enemies are creepy. I would kind of forgotten how many creepy enemies this game has. The people who say that this game is not dark, I mean, dudes, play it. There is so much dark stuff. It's just also mitigated by a lot of light stuff. There's a lot of humour. And I guess, like, for me, I kind of like that. It's got the mix of both. It's got the dark, creepy stuff. Oh, you pest. You guys also hit hard. And then it's got the really creepy stuff. Alright, so we've got a uh, door open. 
We're going to have a bunch more doors that we'll have to open at some point. And somewhere in here there was a super annoying challenge. If I remember rightly. Alright, get down. Oh. You're done. Alright, what do you got to say? Light it, light it, turn it, turn it. Aha. Alright. Hit green statue with green ring does ouch! You are a little shit. Aren't you? Okay, so this one poops out a fireball, which will home in on you. Okay. Oh, well, this one was utter hell. Okay, cool. Getting, leading the fireball. This was the challenge that was like, nah. Because you got to make sure you stay far enough ahead of the stupid thing. That it doesn't despawn. Or, uh, no, shit, 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 shit. Ha! Ah. Doesn't despawn or pathfind into a wall. Whilst not getting hit. Okay, that's another herb. Man, this game is uh, generous with the herbs at the moment. And it's also been generous enough for the tonics. Which is, it's nice. If I were playing on normal modes, aka hard mode, I think I would be burning through my herb and tonic supply uh, way faster. And would actually have to be buying those six of things. Alright. So we've opened up another pathway. And we've got a quick route back. Hello, you guys respawned. Huh. I guess because sort of pseudo room transition with that little cutscene. So now which way up was the open door? Not that one. This one, nope. Also that's a cursed door. That was the one that uh, we went through and the colour died. And you know we wouldn't have really noticed it massively because of um, the arrow gearing kind of monochrome. Okay that is another herb. Yep. Do not need to worry about herbs. Okay. Can't go that away. That's a one way skip mark. Whoa, shoss! Okay, what are you. Uh -huh. Alright, well, you're a yellow one which I can't kill yet. Um, there should not be anything. Ooh, okay. Cool. Balls. Okay, you just reset me to the beginning of the area. That's all good. Okay, so what have we got here? I've got that one that we can get to. Ah, right, that's the, that one. Okay, so we've got, aha, 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 ah, I see what we need to do. Oh, oh, oh okay, I was wrong. That was not the evil challenge. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is the evil challenge. Okay. Okay, please be timed nicely. Okay, thank heavens. Okay, that was uh, that went better than I was um being worried about. Oof. Okay, cool. That stays up now. These guys are shut off. Yeah, it's uh, easy to get it to pathfind into that pillar. Get stuck on the walls or something nasty like that. Alright, what are we got? Oh. Okay, those skeleton duties are, okay, are terrifying. More herbs, cool. I don't really need the um Oh hello, we've got a flame barrel. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to be having something that we light on fire slash, um, make explode. Okay, cool. We can jump. We can't run with the flames, obviously. We can damage enemies with this thing. 
Unfortunately, that means that you can also damage yourself with this thing. Uh, lovely, lovely. Spideys. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Oh, great. Ah, ha, ha. Suck it. You got hit by the fire. At least that thing is um, rather nicely located. And now I can also have it pointing forwards instead of sideways. And now we just have to wait for it to will it do it all in one height. Yes, it will. Nice. Alright, now do I need it more? Nope. I feel like that's a mistake. That is a mistake. Oh well, I guess I get hit through the um, thing by an enemy. Right. Oh, oh, how's that for a uh, sneaky sneak with the camera? Just being in that with that uh, moving spike ball being hidden by uh, the geometry there. All right, what is this one doing? Ah, this is opening up another door. All right. Now, can I get across to that? No, there's a little picket fence. So I guess that one is from elsewhere. Yeah, can't get there. Alright, I'll ignore you guys. Not worth it attacking you. Until I find out that I'm broke, but uh, for the next set of armor and health upgrades. Alright, so that's this area but that will do it for today's episode hope you guys are enjoying this and this is type this out have a good day guys bye